One of the new products that we're actually putting out through North American Rescue this year is our public access bleeding control stations. What we start to do in design concept was put a system together that could be available for the general public. This is part of the Stop the Bleed campaign that's been pushed out through the White House Security Council uh, going back to 2015, where the focal point is, is trying to mitigate or reduce the fatality rates that we're seeing in mass casualty incidents, active shooter type events, where the complications behind first responders getting on site location and treating in a timely manner, we're starting to see a uh, increased fatality rate where injuries, preventable death injuries, um, are not being treated. So some of the elements that we put together here, we've seen actually proven in both military campaigns and law enforcement. It's been items that's been deployed for quite some time, tourniquets, hemostatic agents, trauma dressings, baseline equipment that we know that we can train civilians on, educate them on it, and then making it accessible. Similar to what we've seen with the AD concept. We wanted to be able to put something on a wall, maybe in a school, maybe in a mall, maybe at a local business, where should an injury occur, not just related to active shooter incidents, mass casualty incidents, but even a workplace type injury. At the end of the day, bleeding is bleeding. The mechanism of injury doesn't really matter. So here's what we have. Our bleeding control station was designed based on information that we gathered uh, uh, from the FBI uh, active shooter report from 2013, uh, from 2013, where we know on average there's about 6.51 victims per site location. What we wanted to do was to create a system that would be able to account for those baseline data figures um, where we incorporated eight bleeding control kits within this station. So this would be mounted on a wall at maybe a healthcare facility, facility, maybe a mall, maybe a school. And inside of here, which you'll see, very easily accessible. It opens up, we're able to pull out, very portable bag that you can take out with you, perhaps lay down at an injury site location to start treating. Inside here, let's show you some of the content. Inside, you will see that we set up in a Velcro backing system where we allow for eight bleeding control stations to be mounted on here. Each one of these bleeding control kits is very easy to remove because of the Velcro component. And then with inside each bleeding control kit, we actually house all the baseline core items that were discussed between having a tourniquet available, a trauma dressing, compressed galls, and an optional uh, intermediate kit where we also include hyphen chest seals for those type of penetrating wounds to the upper torso. Uh, and then there's another variant where we actually have a hemostatic agent component, uh, quick clot, and the combat gauze in here as well. So our new push is to try to minimize that fatality rate uh, with sound tactical medicine and putting it into civilian hands.